Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. In this video, I'm going to talk about the Windows 20H2 update that's just been announced, and I've got the build installed on here. Now, there's no new features, it's not like a complete walkthrough of all the changes, it's just announced it, but I just want to quickly tell you about it. So, um, if you're a Windows insider on the Slow Ring, soon to be dev channel, and you get prompted with an update screen like this, I captured this before I installed the, the build. Um, here you see here feature update next uh, to Windows 10 version 20H2. That will be released in the second half of 2020, so it's probably going to be called November 2020 update. And this builds upon the May 2020 update that's just been released, and is a minor update to that. So there's not going to be a whole load of new features. And in fact, when you install this, it doesn't give you a new build number. It's just an incremental version of this build. Here it was uh, while I was installing. So the build string here is uh, 1904.2.330. So it's just the .330 that's changed on this. But you see here I'm running version 20H2. So the only change after I installed this build was the installation of the new Chromium-based Microsoft Edge. So um, this is edge and, and uh, the new chromium based edge and it was installed automatically as part of the upgrade process i didn't do anything it just popped up on there so as well as uh, the new microsoft edge there's fixes included they've included some fixes in this build actually and their fixes have already been released to the may 20 update so they'll do what like they did last year with the 20 with the 19h2 update is there'll always be a, a patch for the may update and then there'll be a patch for the november update this being the november update that will keep them synced but the features will be fairly minor i'm, I'm pretty sure so no, anyway, there's a first look at 20h2 coming soon uh if you're a windows insider you can start testing that now and i guess this is going to be a, a november time frame and hopefully there'll be some interesting features that come to it but uh, they've not available yet but hopefully microsoft will include those so thanks for watching this video. You can find out more on our YouTube channel, on the digitallifestyle.com and at iSticks on Twitter.